Hello, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chopped up drum, drum and bass um, break. So, using them differently um, and getting some cool results. And we've got these samples here that I'll link to in the description. Now, these are the more newer ones that we've done, and these are the more older ones. And both of them have the advantages, and I'll explain why. Um, you can also find more break samples all over the internet perhaps pre-cut and some of them might um, you might be able to find some on a record if you're pretty good at that sort of thing I just prefer to find them already pre-cut for ease of use really um, I'll play you a little sample what what we're going to get today overlaid break which is very simple well it is the same um, concept as me older tutorial but this is a totally new thing and I have control over this this kick snare hat simple as that um so we're gonna start fresh and to put your samples in, just drag, drop in. Let's start with a more complicated one. So, we're going to find a sample we want. And now we're actually going to start with that one. Pretty like that one. So, you right click it, open a new slice X channel. It opens up. Now, you need to actually select each one of these regions here because we want to actually sample it so I'm using the left click um, well, yeah, the left mouse click and then I'm just dragging it at the same time and if we play this if you right click it will play the old click so sometimes, um, in fact if I right click it will play the selection I've made and another thing to bear in mind is to get this bloody um, annoying red box here I have to go right back to where it started I don't know why if you don't do that it'll just go in straight back so you select the region hit play to make sure it's right and don't worry about that um, slow down noise that's just that just happens when you click play um, and you pause it in between it's, it won't actually ever put that effect on anything you um, render out. Well, should I say, make a region of. Um, so, you can go to add region here. Um, you go down to this little drop down menu, regions, add region. And call it snare. And already you can see the sort of ideals what you can do with that so I'm going to drag another um, yeah. get that lined up nicely you can zoom in with your scroll wheel and use this to get closer um, and again add region kick one and this is a hat I believe because hats are normally a smaller waveform compared to the kick, kicks and snares and kicks always seem to have this um, transient on which is like this tail um, whereas the snares seem to be a lot more sort of defined all the way to the end and hats really look a bit like a smaller snare really you just know the hats because they're a lot um, smaller in volume really hence smaller waveform so add region here hi hat whoops so I've done three now I could be here all day but for the sake of the tutorial I think you know what you need to do you just need to select more of them selecting more of them and they'll appear up here obviously every one you create you get a new slot so here's where the fun begins now 
we can drag a kick in and this by the way is um that that just appears there sometimes you don't need to worry about it just don't play it um so kick snare hat right one thing to bear in mind is if you cut this short it didn't happen then but i'll show you so if, you, if i do that then i've cut the snare short the kick is actually really quick but a snare takes longer to sort of fade out so you need to obviously bear that in mind a quarter note is normally adequate but some samples might last even longer if you've got a tail on them so i like that kick and i like that snare it's got some sort of like gritty feel but still very punchy and that's the sort of thing you want to cut through your beat um well your mix sorry not your beat um I can already sort of hear in my head it should we need a, a variation and that and that's it the variation is there already and we're using all these samples from a real a real drum and um, break to actually make your own beat and um, And that's how it's done it's as simple as that and you can layer up another one um, so that snare with that sort of scratchy snare you could say I could do the same thing and then I could select that region and go to um, add region and I've cut it a bit too short there but don't worry um, so already you can hear that So I'm using two samples and that's just the same concept as the tutorial I did a while back but I've sort of improved on it, I've learnt a bit more since and I've obviously picked up new techniques. Now if you wanted to process, let's turn off this um, original snare for now, this separate snare layer um, because if you wanted to process this then you can see what's going on here, we've got our kicks, snares and hats and that's sorted but we need to clone the channels and actually take um, the snares and put them on a channel and put them on the cloned uh, channel and then clone that again and then we're going to get a kit um, kick samples I'm going to put them on a different channel so now and this and you need to do this anyway really because you're getting more control you can choose when your hats come in you could have your kick and your snare beat coming in first so the rest is self-explanatory but I'm going to touch upon a, a little bit of EQ in, and compression this snare is pretty nice as it is so I'm not going to touch it much but you click on the channel route it to an FX channel obviously and the mixer up here and that coincides so literally nothing needs to be done with that but I'm going to see if I can push it anyway so that's even more now you're going to get to do with some of these bass frequencies because that just interferes and brings up some of this high end because that sort of snare is, has that sort of high end on the tail as for compression I'm pretty lame at this to be fair but perhaps to use a preset not a master preset though
compression is a hard one um, to get right sometimes and especially with a sample being that good but I do need to change the settings a bit more I'm not going to bother now because it's going to take too much time to tune it um, again I'm doing the same thing this kick again is exceptional really but that is even more power you can feel the power in that it's as if you know, you know you've got your head stuck in a kit drum someone's full on banging it in your head um, and I'm just bringing up right on the 2k really and all that is is a, the punchiness of a drum like the skin of it is actually hit the sound of that skin um, being hit is around this area in fact that's why if you bring this down you can hear that it actually lost all that sort of drum feel apart from the bass bit so it's important you emphasize it it is a kit drum it shouldn't always just be a bassy sound it should have a bit of a punch to it too um, I won't bother with the hats because that's a matter of just bringing up the top end of it really and all the bottom end doesn't need to be there because hats are just like a cling with no, no punch or anything to them I'll tell you what I'll do anyway so simple as that. Now that's one way. The second way, which is nearly exactly the same, and I'm, I'm going to literally do this in a minute because it is exactly the same. Go to clean breaks. The processed ones are okay but I think really we've processed them quite shoddily. So find one you want. Do the same thing notice this we're already cut for us saves us a bit of time eh doesn't it um, concept is the same as before and you get the mess uh, well you get the drift so you know that's how it's done you can do it the easier way with having your preset breaks but the difference is the difference is that really those breaks are sort of quality pretty pretty high quality and standard those other ones they're just recorded um, by other drum player really I think they're not those other drum breaks which I've got open now are actually sort of partly off um, records and stuff so you're getting a bit more of that sampled feel and there's nothing wrong with it if anything the process to perfection already but you can change things and you know you should do that but thanks a lot for watching my tutorials if you find it helpful you can rate comment and subscribe um, and I'm currently saving up for a computer, so I've got I put a PayPal link in the description, and totally up to you. Um, but if you do feel you can provide anything, I can be making more tutorials because I've, I can then afford um, a new computer for my audio production. So if you can help out, that'd be great. But if not, just rate, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll see you next tutorial.